Hey everyone, welcome to the game week 10 review video. And we are going to review a week for me that was kind of up and down all week. Uh, it ended not horribly. I increased in rank a decent amount, solidifying myself almost in the top 700 again. Um, but it could have gone so much better if I just put the right people in the field to start the week. Um, so we'll get started with Keepers Feeler, Roma won one nil, I think. Yes, one nil. That was a Dabala goal. Um, and so Sfiler gets a good score of 10. Suzuki only got two, so definitely the right decision there. And the back line wasn't terrible. Um Cambiaso and Di Marco uh and Bellanova all get a half clean sheet. Di Lorenzo gets the full clean sheet. And I'm very lucky that Zakani once again didn't feature at all for Lazio, so I was able to get those 10 points for Di Lorenzo as he started on my bench. Fonatelia scored one of the Napoli goals, which was nice, but Pulisic did not start the match, came on late, and Milan suffered against Napoli this past week. And then Yildiz, despite not starting the uh, previous weekend's games, uh, also didn't start in the midweek and did not come on and have the same impact that he did against Inter. So he only got two points. My midfield, aside from Fonatelia, was very weak. Um, going up to the attack, definitely the wrong captaincy decision with putting it on Tram this week. Despite facing Empoli for about 60 minutes, up a man, Tram could not find um, the points there. But Latoro Martinez, for those that own Latoro, ended up getting a goal and assist, so much better a turn there. Rategui, neither of the top three uh, attackers, I think, for Atalanta ended up getting any goals, Lookman and CDK, as well as Rotegui, but Rotegui did get an assist, which was good. Um, the big player of the week for me was Castellanos, who got a brace, one of them being a penalty uh, yesterday, and uh, could have had a hat trick at one point, but I will definitely take the 16 points from Castellanos and just regret, regret not captaining him. The sad part on the week is Fiorentina won one nil off a of Robin Guzan's goal where he played the whole game as well. It's a double clean sheet and a goal. It would have been amazing to have those points as well as Dennis Mon finally having a decent game where I have him buried on the bench. Um, so I sat 24 points and I'm kind of lucky because, well, uh, sorry, 26 with Suzuki, but originally Di Lorenzo was there too. I had 36 points sitting on the bench and I'm just lucky Zakanya didn't play. So I was able to get 10 of them. Uh, but change a couple of these players around, have Guzan's in for Tram, the captaincy on someone else, uh, Mon in for Pulisic, and all of a sudden we're talking about major jumps up the leaderboards, probably into the top 500, if not further. So a little unfortunate that I benched a lot of points this week, um, but it is what it is. Still went up the ranks. Uh surviving kind of these quick rounds that are going through and we got one more to go let's take a look at how the league's going we got la avedia still up at the top had a 71 point week so not great for him a lot of one pointers really struggling midfield this week for him um we have a good defense though a double napoli double clean sheet which is good can be also there as well with vasquez in the back uh, a captain, Sian Rotegui, is better than my captain, but also has Castellanos and Churam didn't do much. We go back to uh, Snaker ISR and Captain Rotegui, which is better decision over Churam. I was more so just worried with all the quick fixtures that Rotegui would somewhat get rotated, but he is the one that played the whole game, so I am kind of worried for Rotegui's minutes on the uh, weekend games. Um, had Nuno Tavares, who, while getting an assist, did get a red card from two yellow cards. So he will miss the next game. Dodo scored well with the clean sheet, double clean sheet for Fiorentina. Karnaseki as well did a good job. Great defensive numbers here. Not so great going forward. It was a 72-point week. And lastly, our last of the top three, at Yudogi style. I feel like we're seeing some new names up at the top three now. Had the Guzans in the field, which is amazing. Uh, definitely a good choice there with Alibera. Some good defensive numbers aside from Ebueze. Um, Lots of red cards in the midweek, which was kind of crazy. Has Laturo, the right interstriker as of right now. I just feel like I'm constantly on the wrong one. Um, 
but a struggling midfield outside of Fadatelli as well with an 83-point haul there. So somewhat low-ish scores compared to the average for our top three this week, but they're still rolling. Okay, um, and that's what we're going to leave it at for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're still climbing well, and uh, I'll see you really soon with it released early for the team selection tomorrow as games do start tomorrow already again. See you soon.